In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth to people of goodwill. A very Merry Christmas to all of you. Today we celebrate again the memory of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ in history. Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6 to 7 tells us, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom, to order it and establish it with judgment and justice, from that time forward, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. King James Version. Praise to the Lord and Merry, Merry, Merry Christmas and blessings and graces to you. I, I bring you a very Merry Christmas to all of you, my friends in Ghana. I bring you a very Merry Christmas to all of you, my friends in England, especially Daventry. I bring you a Merry Christmas to all of you, my, my parishioners, friends in Canada and every place that I've worked in Cambridge in Erin, in, uh, I'm in Erin, Ontario, in uh, Ottawa, Orleans. Merry Christmas to you. I miss you all. And uh, uh, of course, Wall Curtain, Wall Curtain, Sacred Heart. I love you so much. Merry Christmas to all of you. And to St. John the Baptist Burlington, Merry Christmas to all of you. To all my friends across the world, wherever you are, in Asia, in Africa, um, in uh, Europe, and in North America, and wherever you are, Merry, Merry Christmas to you. I know we are in a challenging time, but we ain't giving up because we trust in God, in God who saves us, in God who has sent His only begotten Son to the world for our salvation, for our well-being. If only we cooperate with God everything shall be well. Indeed, the Bible says, Be still and know that I am God, supreme among the nations, supreme on the earth. My dear brothers, I'm, I'm filled with uh, excitement over Christmas and I'm, I'm happy to be celebrating Christmas. I'm happy to be alive and to be, to be sharing the word of God with you. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so. Don't skip. Please subscribe. Also hit the notification bell so that when I release videos, you can get more. Let us continue to spread the word of God to everyone. Let us continue to evangelize the world and bring God's for him Christ the Lord. Praise be the living Jesus and welcome, baby Jesus. We love you. We adore you. We praise you. We glorify you. Friends, I'm happy to be sharing with you again uh, with some reflections. And today we are going to reflect on the gospel reading uh, for today, 25th, and it's taken from Mass of the Day, from John chapter 1, verse 1 and 18. And I'd like to read this because I really love this, this gospel. It's so powerful. And... Uh, let, let's, let's share the gospel. It says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in Him was life. And the life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. 
There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only begotten son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and cried out, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks ahead of me because he was before me. From his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. The law indeed was given through Moses. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has, has ever seen God. It is God, the only begotten Son, who is close to the Father's heart, who has made him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers, sisters, friends, today as we share this Gospel and celebrate Christmas, what I would like to share with you is that the birth of Christ is to bring us to share fully in the life of God. God has come to us so that we can identify with him in his son Jesus Christ and share in the life of God. And it is by sharing in the life of God that we receive that unmerited favor called grace. And grace gives us that life force, that life energy, which enables us to thrive, to flourish, and to live a life of righteousness that brings us to salvation. And no wonder I love so much the, I think the second reading, the second reading of today's uh, uh, liturgy, chosen from Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1 to 16, uh, Hebrews chapter 1, uh, verse 1 to 6. It says, Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, he has spoken to us by the Son, whom he has appointed heir of all things, through whom he also created the ages. He is the reflection of God's glory and the exact imprint of God's very being. And he sustains all things by his powerful word. When he had made purification for sins, he sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, having become as much superior to angels as the name he has inherited is more excellent than theirs. For to which of the angels did God, ev did God ever say, You are my son, today I have begotten you. Or again, I will be his father, and he will be my son. And again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, Let all God's angels worship him. Brothers and sisters, God sent his only begotten son to speak to us. God has sent his only begotten son so that we can come to know God. And that's what Hebrew says. From the beginning, God has always been speaking to us through the apostles, through, through, the, uh, to, through the prophets, and, and in many, many ways. But in these days, in our times, 2,000 years back, God spoke to us through his son, Jesus Christ. And today we celebrate the greatest love story ever told. John 3.16 For God so loved the world 
that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God loves you, and that's why he has come close to you. Love is a force of attraction. Hatred is a force of repulsion. Because God loves us, he has come to pitch his tent among us. And that's why the gospel for today tells us from John chapter 1, verse uh, 1 and to 14, especially verse 14 tells us, And the word became flesh, and it dwelt among us. And the word became flesh, and it dwelt among us. It is only love that can do this. It is only love that draws to draws closer to its beloved. God loves us. God loves you. No matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what you do, God loves you. And God calls you into a relationship with him as we celebrate Christmas that you and me may share in the life of God. A child is born to us. A son is given to us. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. His name, Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, and Prince of Peace. If we share in the life of God, we shall exude the peace of God. And all the world shall enjoy the peace of God. If we share in the life of God, we shall exude from our hearts the love of God. And the whole world shall enjoy love shared among every human being. There will be no discrimination. There will be no evil. And this is what God is calling us to. For those of you who are listening to me who do not believe in God, I want to assure you, God takes nothing from you. God only gives to you. Especially today, I speak to the Western world. Many, many of you have turned against God. Many of you have turned away from God. Let this Christmas be a time when we turn to God. God is not a bearded man sitting up on the clouds. Sometimes it's funny. Uh, that's what many people have inherited as a picture. God is this great source of creation who created everything, who created you and me. And he has not abandoned us. God is with us and he has sent his son Jesus into the world. Let us believe in him and let us share in his life. The name of Jesus, one of his name is Emmanuel, meaning God with us. In our predicament, don't forget God is with us. God will see us also through this pandemic and we shall come out better than before. But it depends. We have to cooperate with God. God is with us, but are you with God? That is the thing. Are you with God? Jesus is born again, and Jesus continues to be born in our hearts through the word, through the scriptures. Jesus continues to be born in our hearts as we receive the Eucharist as Catholics. Jesus continues to be born in our hearts when we share him in the word. Please continue to share these videos to all friends, families, so that they would also receive the word of God and be blessed. Merry Christmas to you and may the peace of Christ, the baby Jesus, be birthed in your heart. And may the love of God bind us all together. And may the grace of God bless us, glorify us, and lead us to a life of joy. Merry Christmas.